hey guys it's Ropsy back with paperless student in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a comparison between one note and notability so at the end of this video i will be answering a question someone asked me how to export notes from notability to one note um, with audio so i will be showing that at the end of this video so stay tuned for that last part but before we start i just want to say that um i am my new semester is starting and i will not have as much time as i did during the holiday so i apologize for that but i will keep uploading every saturday and if i have any free time i will do a tuesday video but that doesn't mean that i'm not going to be answering your questions i will continue answering your questions and i will just put them on saturday um uploads if they're really important and pending and and you know pressing let's get started with this video then so the first thing you notice is the arrangement of your notes in the two different applications for notability you have folders and then you have dividers that can have more folders and in each folder you can have your different topics but then in one note i can have my notebooks like let's say i can have just rough notes and for these rough notes, I can have sections of different subjects. And then in the different subjects, I'll have um, the different topics. I guess you could say you have more you have more options about how your folders are, how you arrange your notes in OneNote than you do in Notability. And then another important difference between these two is that for OneNote, you have to, you have to sign in. You can't use OneNote without signing in, but with Notability, you can. For both applications, you can actually work offline. Even though you're working offline, you have to sign in in OneNote and then it synchronizes your notes into OneDrive, which is the only cloud service that they provide. But for your Notability, you can choose from different cloud services you have about three or four that you can choose from to back your notes into so you can back up your notes into any of those which essentially is kind of like synchronizing then we look at the interface the interface of these two applications is very different notability one you have this very simple interface but for one note you have a microsoft word um, with inking interface this is almost the same setup that you have in the Microsoft Word application. Um, so if you've used Microsoft, you will be familiar with OneNote. So the settings of these applications, they differ a bit. You can customize a bit more for your notability than you can for your OneNote. Um, the OneNote doesn't really have much customization, if any at all. It has very simple settings that you can customize. But it works because the application is, is quite decent. But it will work um, the settings that you have available they are of they're fine so you don't really need to customize uh, okay so now we look at locking your documents in notability you can uh, lock a whole subject for one note you can protect the section which i will not okay so for both applications it's possible to protect your notes personally as you guys can see, I use these applications um, a bit differently because of the layout of the notes. For both applications, you scroll down, but then there's one thing that's pretty cool about OneNote is that you have a possibility of having an infinite page. I've not really tested this to see just how infinite the pages get, but if I keep writing, let me, it will keep expanding. It's easier for me to write mind maps where i just need an endless number of connections without really having to worry much about paper so as you guys can see from my notes here this is like where i organize my thoughts before i actually write my notes in a sensible way so to speak and to show you how infinite this page gets you see this is where the page starts but then because i kept on writing this is how far it's gone and it will still keep going if i keep writing for your notability, your pages are set. They all come as A4 paper and you can't really change the size. You can import pages into notability that are different sizes. And then customization of the papers. We have quite a few to choose from. We have different, we have lined and grid paper to choose from different sizes of boxes. They only give you four, but those work. I mostly just use the first one. But um, you can also import your own customized paper into, notabil into Notability. 
and I have a video for that. You can choose different paper types that you want, like different colors. And when you change the settings, it doesn't just change settings of one page, it changes for the whole document. And the same thing applies for OneNote. When you change the page, it changes for the whole document. It doesn't change for just one page. Um, you have all of just these different colors that you have for your pages in OneNote. And then you also have different lines and grids. So they basically almost offer the same thing. And it's not possible to import papers into OneNote. It is possible, technically speaking, but it doesn't really work like an actual paper. It acts like a, f a photo that you write on top. And when you write on it, it doesn't actually merge to become one they're still separate entities that you can separate let me show you guys for example i wrote these notes bible study notes a couple of weeks ago this is a pdf that i imported into one note but i can move it out completely it just moved by itself without the notes that i wrote on it and here are my notes all left by themselves feeling unwanted so i don't like this about one note i just always feel like i'm not actually writing on the paper that's why I find the options that you have even for PDF annotating in OneNote, it's superficial. Okay, so writing for both applications feels great, feels natural. Um, I love the pen options as well. For OneNote, we have these ones and for Notability, we also have set ones. And then we also have thicker ones as well for OneNote. And these work great. I love writing in both these applications. The eraser, they both have the same type of eraser that erases per stroke. Though the eraser in OneNote is not as natural. I don't, I'm not really sure if it's erased or not. So I tend to just, you know, try as much as possible to make sure that it's gone. And like in Notability, I just know if I tap it, it's gone. It's so much easier to use the eraser in Notability than it is to use in OneNote. And then for the highlighters, the one in OneNote is great. I love the fact that when I highlight on something and overlap my highlight, they don't actually show that they're an overlap. I'm not sure if you guys can see. It just looks like it was just one stroke and I really like that. Unlike if I did that in Notability, not only does it dim what I highlighted, but you can actually see that I highlighted over something, like I overlapped my highlighter, which tends to look a bit scruffy and untidy at times. So I'll have to say for the highlighting tool, the OneNote tool is definitely a winner because it pops out my information that I highlighted and it doesn't show my overlapping strokes. And then um, the next thing we'll talk about is the selecting tools. They basically have the same things. So I have, I have, um, I turned on the try new tools in OneNote so that I know that uh, the rotate is not yet available. But it's it's kind of cool. It's decent that you can actually rotate your notes. But basically, for one note, you can only cut, copy, paste, and delete. And you can obviously resize. But for notability, you can style your selection. You can change the pen size that you use, and you can also change the colors of what you've written. And you can still cut, copy, and delete. So basically, the selecting tool in notability has more functionality. Okay, and then um, for both applications, you can zoom out, obviously. But for Notability, you also have this option. So you can write zoomed in section. I mostly use this when I'm drawing my classifications. That's when I find it most useful. But I don't use it for my notes like all the time. So, um, But it's a useful tool to have, actually, that they don't have in OneNote. You can add a table a picture, a photograph, you can record, put attachments, printouts, and web links, equations, and dates for your OneNote. So definitely quite a lot of things that you can add for OneNote. Notability has quite a number. The only thing missing in Notability, I'd say, is the table, which I think you can um, use the figure tool to add a table it won't be exactly the same thing but it's a way around it and you can't just add 
files like attachment attach files to your um, notability you don't really need to add equations into notability because you can just write it out so for one note you can't open microsoft word excel or powerpoint documents in this application you can attach them to your notes but if you're going to open one you have to do it in the actual microsoft word or microsoft excel etc and for notability you need to convert the files online before you can use them your notability will open those applications but it will first convert them to pdf and it does that online so both applications not so good with word document they do a terrible job another important thing that both these applications do is voice record so this is the difference between voice recording in these two applications for notability i can still use my notes i can still write and it has synchronized audio recording someone said that in the comments i was like oh that's pretty cool um so that's why i'm using it for one note when you're recording audio you can't use the application you can just only record and then write the notes later which is not useful in my opinion if you're going to be recording audio especially for a lecture or for a meeting you would want to write something and you know you can't just sit there and listen for this tool notability is the winner so notability only searches text that's within your notes or in your um, notability as a whole but in one note you can search both your text and it has ocr as well if you're into ocr maybe OneNote is the better application for you these two tools in one note i think they're great this one um, shows you the 100 percent size of your notes i find it very useful when i'm trying to get a sense of my page size and it's very useful like for example now in split view it's really useful because then i can get to see the size of my notes and you know but i don't have that in, in notability and sometimes it's difficult for you to remember the actual size that you were using before you have this one as well that lets you fit whatever page whatever size page it fits it into the available space which is also really cool because it, it, it's good for mind maps as well so you can just see everything all at once in one glance so for notability to do that you just pinch it back to it the normal size of the window that you have available the last thing is exporting of your documents so in OneNote, basically you can't share your notes you can um, copy a link and send to friends or invite people to see your notebook um, giving them the ability to either um, annotate it or not annotate it but that's really limited in notability you can share your notes to all these places and you can even export them to um, different applications the last thing that i'm going to do in this video is to show you how you export notability notes with audio to other applications specifically to onenote because i had someone ask me that question um last week and so i'll share this note to onenote so in your onenote it will open as a new page in the section that you have open at that time you can always move it around if that's not where you want it yeah so here it is the section i have open at the moment is physiology uh, pathophysiology so it's added here inflammation and that's the file it doesn't look like you can open this file because it's like the application can't even identify the file itself but what you do if you want to open this um, file is you tap on it and then it will give you all of these options then you preview and then you preview content and it will show you that on top here it says inflammation one of two and then you these are the notes these are the written notes okay but if you want to see and hear the audio you have to swipe sideways like that And there you have the audio that you can play. So swipe back to see the notes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. So that you don't miss out on any new videos that I will be uploading. And 
I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.